Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. This is the weekly update on reserve rights. We will have a look at a few key levels. So we'll have a look at last week's levels where I suggested we should put some buy zones in or some buy orders. And then we'll have a look at a few new key levels where we could potentially look at placing orders now. And then some areas where we could take profit or accumulate. If you are new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and let's crack on. This channel is in partnership with Cointelegraph Markets Pro. If you're wanting to get one step ahead of the game, go ahead and check their platform out. You will find a link for that in a pinned comment and the description. So, last week we did a video and looked at a few key levels where we could be potentially investing. I looked at this region here on the free tool level, which was around 0.044. Take a look at the price now. Currently sat at 0.0049, so we've had a bounce back up. We did have a look at three two Fibonacci. So if you look at the entire move, so from the bottom there, all the way up to the top, I did say that the three eight two level at zero point zero four four there was the area to buy in. And look at that, it was a perfect wick down. Some people aren't a big fan of Fibonacci's, but if you're looking for investment levels on the high time frames, you can't beat it. You cannot beat. It. Look at that. That would have picked up to an absolute T. It was a wick down collection and then pack up now i think that retracement is done things are starting to look good we are targeting five cent again and the next real level we need to look at is this region here up at 6.1 cent once we do get up to that which is solid area of resistance if you look at here it was support 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 then resistance and now it is the next level of resistance this is a key area to break through if we do break through that then we can really start looking at some levels at 7.3 cent and 8.9 cent and then ultimately the all-time height is not a million miles away but if we're just looking at this now we're actually using the ema 20 as support always just be wary though that once you have gotten above that 50 which we have done here there's always a possibility uh that we could potentially come down and test it so if you're wanting to put some orders in I would still put some in at 0.044 and all the way down to 0.041 just in case you might get lucky and you might get some picked up there but we have already done that 31% retracement we've done them highs 31% retracement or should I say 38.2 and then I think this is the next move I think we're really going to go up and target this uh, 6.1 cents so that's the area where I'm looking at now I mean if you want to set some buys and you're thinking oh where do I buy and what do I do market buy this chuffer because this is an absolute beast i think this once it gets going it's going to be unstoppable and you're looking at prices now which are sub 10 cent which is close to multi-time highs i still think it's ridiculous i mean currently we're, st we're still sub five cents so that's unbelievable i remember when everyone was talking down here about we're going to about 0.0001 um, and i were buying i managed to buy i accumulated more bags at 1.7 cent which was pretty much down there 2.2 cent and i bought some more at 2.4 cent so i massively um accumulated more bags down there i think i've times three on my rsr bag so things are looking very very good down there but in terms of buy zones still maybe put some at 0 0.044 but market buy at five cent and i don't think you'll be um well i think if you ever look back at that one day future you think why didn't i buy more at that level because i think once this gets going and you're getting above all time highs things will really start to to look nice and good so if you're looking at a money flow that's currently in bullish territory as well we was in such a bearish period money flow was in negative equity from a nine for me so that's a long time um, like you're talking four months of nearly um, negative selling pressure there we're now in the up so hopefully we can maintain this and start pushing on so that's some buy zones really i'm not talking too much i mean i just buy it up and then sell zones first area to get through 6.1 cent a couple of things i want to look at actually first we'll just look at btc pair we are currently at 98 satoshis i was looking on the last video this setup here we're looking for buys on this ema 50 we've come down a fair bit i mean we've got all the way down to 95 sats i was saying orders at around 91 i'll probably ladder them in from about 100 all the way down i'd still expect this to drop down a little bit further btc is closing on 51k now if we start pushing up to 55 56k satoshi pairs will start to feel the pressure a bit and this may come down a little bit further so look at orders here all the way down to this area of support two at 84 sats um if you are trading in bitcoin could be a decent area for you to potentially target there 
in terms of uh, Satoshi's. And then take profit regions if you want to take some profit. This is a massive level of resistance at 152 Satoshi's right up there. And then finally, I just want to have a look at the Valkyrie Indicator, which um, is a great tool I've been using to scalp and also been using it to um, do trading with. If you look at these RSI over bought dots, they give you a good sell signal. Look at that, we dropped all the way down to here. We've got an RSI oversold signal there, so that is now looking good. Overbought, hit a nice area of resistance. If you look at our blue, uh, green wave, that is a resistance there. So we've got a sell signal there and bang, straight down here. Look, five minute time frame. We've got a couple of buy signals now. We're quite far away from this level of resistance, but this could soon pop up. So I'm fully expecting over the course of the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes of a price to, to act in a bullish manner. So uh, that works the same on the daily time frame too. If you look in here, we've had a couple of buy signals down here. So that's great to see. Sell signal up here, bang. Sell signal, bang. Didn't get any buy signals there, but we hit that moving average. We could have given you a good idea to potentially buy. Um, there's so many variations you can do with this. Um, so what I suggest is you go and check it out. You will find that link for the Valkyrie Discord server in the pinned comment and the description of this video. So that's going to do it for today. Just a quick update on reserve rights and buy zones, sell zones, and what happened last week so far. If you managed to play some orders where I said last week, you would be in some nice profit now. I've got some cheaper RSR. Hold on for dear life because this is a project you will not be wanting to be selling until it hits that magical 75 cent to one dollar region for starters. Let's see how this mag uh, this cycle does for us and let's see how crypto does in general. So thanks very much for watching. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and I'll catch you next time.